Hello everybody, today we are back inside of, um, clicking game again, and today we're gonna be doing auto clicker game pass, and probably doing more of the map, and let me just fix that, um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing the auto clicker first, the game pass, so, so what you wanna do is add a, well, actually we could probably do it, here out of frame this is gonna be the auto clicker um i am pretty sure we can just add it like this make it blue smaller real quick and put it like right there i guess auto clicker frame um i don't really hmm uh, I don't really know how they or how to do it, but uh, yeah, let me just try something. This can probably be like the start, and we can make it green. Go to one and start. I don't know. Um, this isn't my gun. This is gonna be the start button for me. I don't really know. Add a um local script. And we're gonna make this is like we're actually add like a normal script. This is gonna be the actual like auto clicker handler basically. So we have to do this first. And wait, before we do anything, you have to make a bool value. And we're gonna do or hmm, I don't know if we're gonna use this, but let's just make it just in case. Stop. That's in for us. I don't know. All right. So for the handler script, you want to do amount. This is the amount is gonna give you per um auto click. You know. Um. Well, I'm just gonna re when we finish the pet system, I'm gonna make it like multiply by like the pets, how much they give you, and like the world boost. Um. But for now, I'm gonna do that. Um, we can add like probably a little debounce because uh, I don't really want to make it too fast, so like one second. Um, and then we can do will value is equal to script dot parent dot parent dot stop button pressed, and then we could do let's get player is equal to script up parent up parent up parent up parent dot dot okay like that script the parent dot hmm. well uh can we can add a stop button then hmm I don't, yeah, let's just add a stop button. Stop. Stop button. Um, yeah, this GUI is not looking the best right now, but like, yeah. so we don't really need that local script, so we can do a script up here and dot, um, the parent, the stop button. Right here. Uh, it got mouse button one click. Connect function. And you want to do bool value dot value is equal to true. And I want to do script dot parent on mouse button one click. Connect function. And now you want to do bool value dot value is equal to true. I mean false. Sorry. Uh, repeat wait uh, we want to do the time value we added uh, and then it'll bring that up you want to do a player um dot leader size wait for child I'm gonna do um gal galaxies with the s or let me see how I did it 
Okay, just galaxy. Galaxy. Um, the value is equal to thing except plus the amount. And then you want to do bool value. Uh, value is equal, is equal to true. Um, this should work. Not who sure. Let's see. I think, yeah, it should work. Let me see. Okay. I press start. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're getting. Okay. So, I don't know if you want that time value, but just make it a really small number then. And see, this is a problem we need to fix with the backpack. It goes over. I'm still trying to fix that. But backpack shop still works. I... Yeah. And if you press stop, it should stop. There we go. Okay. That's our auto clicker. That was really fast. Um, we can probably um make it only show this for uh when you own the game pass, it shows it. So let's probably just do that real quick, and then we can probably do something else like the map or something. I don't know. All right, guys. So to do this game pass game pass thing, um. We can make start probably in here. Auto clicker game pass. Okay. You wanna do local player? Is it the game that players got local player? Um local owns game pass is it the game get service, marketplace service, user owns game pass passing. Player dot user ID comma okay that's where your ID is gonna go so to get the ID you want to um let me hold up guys let me actually just find the the game and let me make the game pass or let me show you guys how to make the game pass and get the ID if you guys um didn't know that didn't know how to so let me just find real quick all right guys so once you actually found this you don't uh, um i'm just gonna choose a file real quick i'll just make it anything i don't know um okay auto clicker get an auto clicker a uh, preview now once you do that you want to um configure it like that go to sales item for sale and do like 200 or something i don't know now press back over there and then copy the id at the top and then we go back to roblox studio real quick and we paste the id right there and then we can do if owns game pass and then local so hmm. are we gonna make it show or local um i guess we can make it show there local um so local auto clicker is um equal to script dot parent dot main ui dot auto clicker frame and then you want to do auto clicker frame dot visible is equal to true and that honestly should be it i don't think we need anything else um, so, let's see, since I own the game pass and I'm the owner, it should show the, the frame, there we go, okay, 
So as you could saw, as you could see, the visible the visible is equal to false. But now, if we go back to here, and we change this this ID to like, let me actually just keep the ID somewhere though, because I don't want to lose it. So if we change it like one, for example, we don't have it, of course. It shouldn't show the frame. There we go. Doesn't show the frame. You can't auto click. Yeah, that's auto clicker. But of course, I'm gonna keep the ID in here. And yeah, you can customize the frame to be better. Like, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe and like. It helps me a ton. In the next episode, I'm gonna be doing like some particles when you click it comes out of your body or whatever it's called but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and like helps me a ton and join the discord server in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one peace